Hello everybody and welcome back to MLB The Show 16 Road to the Show series here with our starting pitcher for the Cincinnati Reds Gunslinger. Today we're doing something a little bit different folks. Today we're, doing, we're going to be doing a monthly update, try and get those words out, but we're not going to look around the league, we're only going to look at the Pensacola Blue Wahoos hitters, uh, team leaders, pitching, how we're doing, maybe upgrade if we can, but probably not, take a look at the MLB, and uh, see where we are in comparison to their starting five, so without further ado, let's get started with the standings, Pensacola is going to go ahead and be tied at first. This is a very tight-knit division. The Bay Bears and the Shuckers are also tied with the Blue Wahoos at 14 and 16. Then the Jacksonville Suns are 13 and 17, one game out. And the Mississippi Braves are 12 and 18, two games out. For the stats, right now our team ranks second in triples, fifth in walks with 107, and fifth in saves with 11. But those are the main categories. If we go to the actual list for all the teams, we're going to go ahead and go to pitching because that's where Gunslinger's at. And that's where it matters. So strikeouts. Where does Pensacola match up with the rest of the teams? Well, it's not so good. Pensacola is dead last in strikeouts. With 268. Uh, you know what? That's actually batters. Let's go to, uh, let, let's go to pitchers. Uh, there we go. ERA. ERA. Pensacola Blue Wahoos. Maybe we're not last this time. And no, we're not. We're 17th. Gunslinger, of course, we're on a hot streak. No run support. But, hey, we do lead our team in ERA with a 1 6 4. And, as we can tell from a couple of these teams, that is almost the lowest. Only looks like one guy, two, three, four people have lower than Gunslinger. And then Brian Pedra, Pedra, and Tim Adelman are rounding it out. Right now, Adelman 338 ERA. You see we're 60 overall. Complete games, we have none. We'll go ahead and take a look if anybody does on Pensacola. And we have two. Brian, Pedra, and someone else are not showing. So, that's good to know that we can get those games. Shutouts. Brian Pedra had a complete game shutout. That's also good. We're tied there with four uh, shutouts. Saves. Again, we have 11, and that is good enough for fifth or tied for fifth. Blown saves. Not something you really want to be known for. And, unfortunately, the Pensacola Blue Wahoos are, uh, they're bad at that. Harold Villa, Villa, however you want to say it, four of the six blown saves, and that's not good. Hits allowed, Pensacola ranks near the bottom again, 24th. Gunslinger is giving up 31 hits. Right now, the leader by Brian Pedra, 29 runs allowed. Pensacola, yeah, they're about middle of the pack, 19th, but Gunslinger's only giving up seven. He's doing his job. It looks like Tim Adelman is not doing the job he's supposed to do. He's giving up 15 earned runs on that said pitch on that specific day. Gunslinger, seven earned runs. So he's keeping it very narrow. Home runs allowed. I don't think we have one. Or, okay, we do. We do have one. But otherwise, we have 15 tied for 11th again. Low number. Based on balls allowed. How many walks have we given up? Pensacola. Middle of the list. 15th with 91 walks. Gunslingers walk three guys, and that's clearly the lowest for our team. Strikeouts, Gunslinger should be up there for Pensacola, and he is 43, leads the team. Remember, he's on a hot streak. We are 234 strikeouts in, and we are 15th, not the other way around with the batters. Win percentage, of course, we're not gonna be up there because of our record. However, neither will Gunslinger. He is 0-4, I believe, and, of course, no run support means you're probably not going to win any games. And the only game he got a no decision in was last episode, where we ended up losing. So, take what you want from that. Let's go to player statistics now, and we will go to pitchers for this team. 
And we'll go to Gunslinger because why not? Okay, he's 0-3. Thought he was 0-4. I always say that, but he's 0-3. 38 and one third innings pitch, 43 strikeouts, 164 ERA, and under a one whip with hitters in scoring position. If we go ahead and bring up his player card, you can see 65 stamina, 45 hits per nine innings, 40 strikeouts per nine innings, 45 walks per nine innings, 40 home runs, 60 clutch, 55 control, 60 velocity, 60 break. Right now we are a potential of a B. 60 overall, we have a 4 seamer slider, 12-6, curve, and that's it. We might work on some new pitches, but for right now, that's it. 20 years old, lefty thrower, lefty hitter, 5'11", 200, and gunslinger because we wouldn't make it creative. We put him out west, and where do they have duels? In Arizona. So he's from Arizona, and as you can see, MLB stats are non-existent. So let's go ahead actually take a look at the MLB where the Reds ranked well at the bottom where they should be Cubs lead that division 25 and 7 very reminiscent of how they started the year in real life this year Pirates Cardinals right there but hey we're ahead of the Brewers so let's go ahead and take a look at our starting five in the MLB Homer Bailey 83 overall Rizal Iglesias 84 overall, going to be very tough to beat them. Another one, Brandon Finnegan. Top three guys are going to be very tough to take out for Gunslinger if he wants to make the starting rotation. Maybe not as one or two, but like four or five. Anthony Desclaf Desclafani. I hope I didn't butcher that. 76 overall, you see he's one and four though on the year. Finnegan's one and three. Iglesias one and three. Homer Bailey three and three. And then our fifth man in our rotation, at least for now. We have Dan Straley, 78 overall. So, in comparison, let's head back to AA. I do not think we're going to get a comparison. But, okay. We get it to Rizal Iglesias. Or, yeah, we get it to Rizal... I don't know. Iglesias. We're calling him Iglesias. So, Iglesias, MLB ace. We're AA rotation. Both be potential right now. He again is 82 overall. We're 60 plus a 2 overall. Adjusted overall. The Glacier stays the same. We're 66. You can see our stats through 6 games each. We have 4 quality starts. We have a much better ERA. But again it's double A baseball. Our trends on the up. Strikeouts. We have more hits. We have less. Innings pitched. 4 and a third more. Walks. Less. Whip and batting average allowed all less complete games. We haven't done any. And the only thing he has going for him is his win-loss. So, you know, it, it's going to be tough for Gunslinger to get into the starting five. But I think we can do it. And uh, that all about wraps it up for this one. I think I want to do something a little different. We'll probably do this at the end of every month. Because I know we had a monthly update during or before our games. I believe against uh, one of these games right here, maybe Birmingham it was, or Biloxi. It showed our monthly stats, and I think I wanted to go a little more in-depth with that, so that's what we did, guys. The next time you'll see us, we will have Charlotte and most likely Mississippi, unless Gunslinger gets called up or gets hurt. Hopefully that doesn't happen, but uh, hopefully he gets called up. Thank you guys for watching. My name has been JT Plays. Or James on YouTube. I will.